Hey everybody, um, just a couple of quick things here. I'm out in the woods here at the edge of my mom's farm harvesting something and I'll show you what I'm harvesting in just a minute and what I'm going to do with it, I'll wow. tell you. So um, let me show you what I'm harvesting here and figure out how to flip this camera around and uh, I'll show you, tell you what I'm going to do with this. Y'all know what this is. This is, a, of course, a pine tree and I am harvesting this um, this one here is really hard already. I've got some in the bucket already I'm trying to keep the trash out, but that's, that's pine resin. And, um, this one is already hardened and it's got a little trash in it. I try to take my knife and scrape off some of the trash off of it, but <clears throat> you can, you can remove some of this bark and there'll be huge slabs of this. And what's happening with these trees is the pine beetles are getting in them. Some of them have been struck by lightning. Um, there's one not too far from here that was struck by lightning. It's got a huge wound on it, and it has a lot of this this resin. And then let me take you over here, and uh, and I'll show you some before it hardens. You can probably see it already on the side of this tree. This is a little bit more challenging to harvest, although it's better. Um, you can see, you see my knife blade kind of goes into that real easy. That's the same stuff. It's just not hardened yet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make pine, this is pine sap or pine resin, pine rosin, they call it here in the south. Um, this this stuff right here is amazing medicine. It's antibacterial, any it's like nature's super glue. You can you can actually now one caution that I'll give you right from the get go is don't use this stuff on animal bites because I I got scratched by my cat and I I sealed it up with pine sap and I ended up with tetanus. So I don't recommend using it on, on animal bites or scratches or anything. But if you have, like if I cut myself with this knife out here, I could take this stuff and glue my wound together like stitches. And not only is it going to hold my wound together, I mean, within reason, you, you're still going to need to bandage it. But it's going to hold my wound together. It's going to help keep it from getting infected. And it this stuff also has analgesic properties. It helps to stop pain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to harvest a bunch of this stuff and I'm going to melt it down and I'm going to make pine sap salve. I've made it before, but I've got one particular lady that has been asking me for it for almost a year and I've just not had time to make it. And I really don't now, but um, I've got a good supply of it in this. this it's kind of a dying forest. Um, the pine beetles are in here and, you know, a lot of the trees are suffering right now, but there's a lot of it out here and it's a great time. I think my friend Jasmine's on here and she just commented this is, you know, a good time uh, to harvest it. Anyway, um, yeah, so if you have it, if you're blessed to have it in your area, go out and get it. You can get it when it's soft like this or you can get it when it's harder like on that tree right over there that I just showed you this stuff here in the bucket. Either way, you can still use that and and this this stuff is is that's that's good medicine right there you can just take and melt it down now be prepared go to the, like the thrift store or something and get a cheap stainless steel pot don't use your good kitchen stuff because you're just about going to have to throw it away when you get done so i have a designated pine sap pot that i make salve in so pine sap salve is good medicine so y'all go get you some